And it is the oldest starting pitcher in the game on this day of the schedule or any other day. He's been the oldest starter in the league this season, the veteran Southpaw Rich Hill, six and seven on the year. Harper draws a walk, and that'll bring up JT Real Muto. And Real Muto sends that one into left center field. Harper will get to third base easily. JT on his way to second. The throw there is not in time. Harper will score. He never stopped running. One nothing Phillies. One nothing Phillies. Philly reliever Archie Bradley wearing a microphone. Oh, Bryce is gonna go. Send him. Send him. Send him. Send him. Yeah, let's go, Bryce. Kyle Gibson on the mound for the Phillies. Last time around was Tuesday against the Cubs. And he was perfect through four innings before really struggling in the fifth. Still two balls and two strikes. Trying to strand a pair of early base runners here in the bottom of the first. And he strikes out by it. Knapp batting right handed. He's at 160 this year. Balls and two strikes on Knapp the pitch. Swing and a miss, strike three. A high fastball from Rich Hill. That's his third strikeout tonight. There's two down in the second. Pitch to Gibson is popped up. First base side, Alonzo calling off Baez, and Pete makes the one-handed catch to end the inning. J.D. Davis leads things off in the Mets half of inning number two. The windup in the one-two. Bouncer towards third. Charging in Torres, gloves it thigh high, throws on the run in plenty of time to get Davis. Gibson, 2-1. And a swing and a bouncing ball back to the mound. Gibson reaching up that long arm frame. <laughs> it's an easy play for him. And he'll throw out McNeil, two gone. Steps into the wind, he delivers. And a swing and a miss. Nito goes after one a foot off the plate. And he strikes out. Third K for Gibson. One, two, three, second. Freddy Galvis leads things off in the Phillies half of inning number three. No balls, two strikes to pitch. Galvis hits one in the air toward left center. Pretty deep. Nimmo back, ranging to his right. Gets there and makes the catch. Segura hit safely in 12 of his last 13. So now Bryce Harper, who walked and scored the game's only run in the first. Got him looking. I think Bryce knew it was a strike, and he's like, I can't believe that just happened to me. <laughs> so here's Real Muto now. One ball, two strikes, pitch. Swing and a miss, strike three. Real Muto late on the fastball from Hill. Two balls and two strikes to count to Lindor. That swung on a miss for strike three. So Hill advances. So a pass ball strikeout puts Hill at second base with two gone. The pitch. Swing the ground ball left side, diving Torres, he's got it, gets up, throws to first, he got him! Amazing play by Ronald Torres, diving into the hole, and he takes a hit away from Pete Alonso. Ronald Torres, 36 RBIs for the Philly third baseman. It's well hit out to left field. McNeil calling for it, shy of the track, he'll have room to put it away. By the way, Rich Hill with five strikeouts so far tonight. It's the 0-2. Sidearm breaking ball, swing and a miss, strike three. Well, Knapp offered at it. That was a lackadaisical wave. One out and one on. Phillies with a one nothing lead. J.D. Davis is the batter. And the pitch to him. Swung on, bounce back to the mound. Gibson's got it, throws low to second. Picked by Segura. He'll throw to first. What a play by Gene Segura. As the Phillies turn to a rescue save for Segura. Well, the double play gets written down. It looks routine, but it wasn't. Gene Segura had to make a nifty play at the second base bag to make that one to four to three double play happen. And afterwards, Kyle Gibson says, thanks for picking me up. That was a terrible throw. A ball and a strike to count to Harper. Or second and third, rather, here with one gone. If they walk him, they'll load the bases for Ramuto. Instead, they pitch to Harper. He sends a drive out to center field. Nimmo's on a dead run, and he runs it down. Both runners tag. 2 nothing fills. And he leaves with one runner, rather, as his responsibility, hoping that Jerry Spamilia can repeat the performance he had yesterday. Three-pitch strike out to Ramuto. Hard to argue with the results. The best opportunity yet to break through and get that zero off the scoreboard, and now it'll be Dom Smith the pinch hit. That's into the right field corner. And it's going to score them both. Dom Smith cashes in off the bench, and the Mets have tied it at two apiece. Pete Alonzo with the runner at third and two gone now. 
chopper to third. That's a fair ball for Torres. Two to tie is what the Mets will settle for in the fifth. Pitching change for the Mets. Trevor May gets ending number six. Two balls and two strikes. Pitch. Swing and a miss. Strike three. High fastball as McCutcheon went after 97. Beerling has a couple of base hits. Swing and a miss. Strike three. That was another changeup near the top of the zone. Trevor May from a belt tie set his pitch. Swing and a miss, strike three. Trevor May strikes out the side. Galvis, Segura, and Harper aboard with two away. Real Muto with a bouncing ball to shortstop. Lindor goes the short way to Baez, and the bases are left loaded in the top of the seventh. Kyle Gibson will start a seventh inning of work tonight. There weren't any runs scored in the top of the seventh inning, but was a long turn on the bench for Gibson between innings of work. McNeil swings and sends a big ball out to right. Harper's on the run. He looks up and it's gone. McNeil waits on it. Watch him wait. Little change up this time. Doesn't do much. Right in the wheelhouse. And a big bomb for McNeil and the Mets. Andrew McCutcheon leads things off in the Phillies half of inning number eight. Cutch punches a bouncing ball to the right side with Luke Covery. Alonzo gets it to him in stride. One away. One out. Nobody on. Pitch. Swing and a miss, strike three. Fastball by Veerling. Two up, two down here in the eighth. Miller has never enjoyed his time against Aaron Loop. 0 for 8 with six strikeouts. And a drive into the opposite field here that chases McNeil into the corner where he can put it away. Mets are making an attempt here for some insurance. They've got first and second with two gone for the pinch hitter. It's going to be Kevin Pillar to bat off the bench. The sign from JT. Here's the payoff pitch. Swung on, hit in the air. Shadow right. Long run in Harper. Segura going out. Anybody? Harper slides and makes the catch. A fair ball as he skids over the foul line and hangs on to it. Does it all, folks. Tremendous running grab for Bryce Harper to keep this as a one-run ball game. And Diaz gets out number two. And now, Bryce Harper. Nothing but gas from Diaz. Harper sends a ball to left. McNeil calling for it. And the Mets are able to salvage the series and snap out of the five-game losing streak.